Hello, hello, my beautiful Tureens. This evening or today or this afternoon, whatever may find you, we want to be really looking at why can't you fall in love? What is the reason? You know, I'm getting so many people coming onto my channels with the live low with the live readings wanting to know why can't I fall in love? What's wrong with me? What's happening with me? So let's pull three cards. Let's see about your past, present, and future situations. Let's see what's blocking you. Let's see what's happening with your relationship and why can't you fall in love? Okay, why can't you fall in love, Tureens? Why can't you fall in love? Okay, we're using the Art of Adventure Tarot deck. Why can't you fall in love? Okay. Okay, let's see this. Now, the Two of Pentacles is all about weighing up options all the time, you know, really thinking about things and maybe getting one foot in the you know, one foot in the relationship, one foot out of the relationship. There can also be intoxicating habits that's really blocking you from falling in love, you know, like you're really second-guessing yourself and second-guessing whether this person's right for you, which sort of makes you go hot and cold. You know, you've got one foot in and one foot out. That's one, one way of looking at it. The other way of looking at it is... You're often falling or going into relationships with straight away the first thing on your mind is forever. You know, and that can often scare the relationship going in too deep. You know, there has to be a honeymoon period or a dating period where you're having fun, going out, having laughs, getting to know each other. So there's a feeling here of really backing off, you know, not going too deep or, or into relationships in a way that is going to scare somebody off, but also yourself, you know, because it can cool down really quickly if we dive into a relationship far too soon and know too far too much about the person we can really become quite bored too easily so be very mindful about that now the ace of wands is you know like the feeling of the beginnings you know feeling really beginning you know having pure creative energy now the possibility here is endless but it is often about relating to a crush or an affair so you've got to be very careful about the energy that you're putting out are you putting out the energy that you're too easy are you putting out the energy that perhaps your relationship is just you know something that isn't going to end up to be serious and the person may not be taking you seriously or treating you as a serious long-time relationship there's also the issue here of making sure that you're not going for somebody who's already taken such as having the idea in your head of you know having an affair with somebody so just be very mindful about that because affairs won't won't last you know we're opening the door to a situation that's going to end up being the situation for ourselves so there is a feeling here of really making sure that you're sort of looking at relationships in the beginning of when you're meeting that person in a way of having more respect for yourself you know looking after yourself acting in a way that's morally correct and if you're not acting in a way that's morally correct correct that vibe is going to come off onto that person you know and and set the intention straight away of where the relationship's going to head now the final card here is all about I guess being your own worst enemy, really feeling like things are over before they've even begun. So maybe you're you're afraid, you know, you're you're afraid, and you're you're really protecting your heart as such. You know, there's a feeling here of just sort of pretending that you're not bothered about someone. So you're really sending off the wrong message there. You know, if you do like somebody, you know, it's about this game playing. You know, just be very mindful here that you don't act like you're not interested or you know like you're bored of that person. So there's a feeling that you could be putting off the feeling that you're not interested. So then that person's not going to want to, you know, set their sights on you because they think, oh, well, she's not interested or he's not interested, you know, like I'm going to move on. So there's a feeling here of having a little bit of fun, you know, just relaxing a little bit, walking into the relationship a bit tippy-toed, you know, having a bit of fun, really getting to know the person in a jovial, fun way. But really making sure that your mindset, you know, is in the particular place of being positive, not thinking, well, this relationship's going to end, you know, not not in a place of paranoia, like he hasn't rung me, where is he, who's he with, or, you know, like, um, oh, he mustn't be interested. So then straight away you go cold off that relationship. So that just be very, very mindful about that. Now, the last card we're going to 
pull out here. I'll leave the links in the description box of any of these decks that I utilize. I'm just shuffling them for you. Is the Sword of Light Oracle deck. I have done a review of this deck and I will put that down in the description box as well if you want to see the cards up more in full. Okay, so here we go. Okay, and this is the final card here is about your prayers are answered. So you really do want a relationship. You're not kidding yourself, you know, and we've got the beautiful butterflies here. So it's really about rebirthing here. So it's really about making sure that everything that's come up in this reading, that you sort of take a bit of notice. Are you acting that way? Are you, you know, you're sending off the wrong vibe, but, you know, just know that there is love going to come towards you, but you have to really make sure that you're in a place mentally, physically that you're able to give your heart to somebody so i hope that you enjoy this reading Toreans. i hope that you have love i hope that it finds you this month good luck